Hey guys, today we are going to be creating an artwork based on the adorable llamas of Peru mixed with the beautiful colors and patterns from the textiles of Peru. Today we are going to be drawing the nine types of lines for our Peruvian textile llama design. First we're going to start with a straight line and then a curvy line. Next is a zigzag line that goes up, down, up, down, up, down. Next, we're going to draw a thick line. And to do this, I'll draw two lines parallel to each other and then later we'll color that in with crayon. Next, the opposite of thick is a thin line with just the point of my pencil. I'm going to draw some short lines in between my thick and thin line. So again, we're drawing short lines. And the opposite of short is a long line. We'll make this one long and curvy. Next, we have a dashed line. And finally, a looped line. Now those are the nine types of lines and I still have room. So I'm going to repeat a few and add some more fun line designs to the bottom. For my last one, I'll do a spiral line. Now that I've drawn all of my lines in pencil, I'm going to trace all of them with crayon. I'm doing a technique called watercolor and wax resist, where I draw with crayon and then paint directly on top of the entire drawing with watercolor paint. The wax will resist the water and show through with bright colors. Notice how for my thick line, I colored it all the way in. The rest of the lines, I'm simply tracing. Now that I've traced all of my lines with crayon, I'm ready to paint. I've added water to each of my watercolors, and I'm layering colors in each section of my line design. I used a variety of colors in between each of the lines, and even double layered colors to create new ones. Now it's time to let the painting dry and create my llama drawing. To draw a llama, I'm first going to draw a huge arched rainbow line very lightly. I'm actually going to be erasing this line in just a moment, so draw light till you've got it right. Now I'm going to do a bubble line around my large arch line. This is to make the llama look fluffy. Now that I have the bubble line all the way around the arch, I'm going to erase that light arch line. After erasing, I'm going to start drawing the features of the face. Starting with a large oval in the center, I'll draw a small heart-shaped nose inside. For the mouth, I'll make a hook shape with a J and a backwards J and connect underneath with a big curved line. For the eyes, I'll draw two circles and then a small circle inside each of them for a highlight. This part will stay white. Next, I'll draw the ears with big curved lines, trying to match each on both sides. By 
finally, I'll add a little line inside each of the ears. Next, I'm ready to outline with black marker. I'm not going to use many colors in my llama because he's mostly white. I'll add some pink and red for the ears and nose and black inside the mouth. Around the outside edge, I'll use gray to make the fluff a little bit 3D. I've lightly colored my llama in with crayon and now I'm going to add some decor to his neck with marker. Now I'm ready to cut. Cutting very carefully around the outside edge of my llama, I'm going to cut out the entire shape. The final step is to glue my llama down to the background with patterns. Turning the image over to add a line of glue around the edge, I'm going to gently place it so that the bottom of the llama lines up with the bottom of my page. Pressing down and making sure it's secure. I have created my Peruvian line textile llama design. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.